My man. Jimmy Riley. What up? Wow, this is Good the, to be back, brother. It's great to be back. This is the clearest you've you've ever been. I, I I'm I'm stepping the game up. I charge my phone. I got a little stand here. Move some lights around. I love it. I don't know if I'm able to switch the camera here. I do want to share this with you. Just be oh no, yeah, my front camera doesn't work, but just immaculate views with the sunset here. Yeah, feeling great. Feeling great. And so, are you guys looking right into the ocean where you're at? Like from the living room right now, I'm looking right into the ocean. That's fucking crazy. It's fucking nuts. And every sunset is different. There's always different boats riding by. There's like little palm trees down by the shore just to like chef's kiss. And then there's just this huge ass tree. Like if you're outside from the living room, it's kind of perfect. But if you step outside or whatever to take like a picture, there's this one tree that just sticks up. Just right in the way, ruins every picture. Yeah, and I don't know if I've told the story, but I think I did. But our next door neighbor is like a New York Times bestselling oh. author, Mike Sager or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then he came over, you know, we invited him over for a beer or whatever. And he was like, yeah, that fucking jackass won't cut his tree. You know, he's like, that's why I got the house on the other side. <laughs> I was like, oh, this guy. That's hilarious. How, do you know how long that guy's been there? The the Mike guy? That's a good question. I want to say around a decade. Oh, wow. Okay. So Decent Sometime. amount of time, long enough to know that that dickhead doesn't cut his tree. Um, exactly. Damn. Uh, someone's got to go talk to him. That's kind of fucked up. That's the one thing ruining it. And it's like, what's he getting out of the top of his tree? True. But at the same time, it's like, hey, man, you're ruining my picture. Exactly. Like, let's <laughs> let's get some landscapers out here. I don't give a fuck. Fuck that let's guy. Get jo- let's get Joey Wood out here. Joey Wood. Wow. I haven't heard that <laughs> name in fucking... <laughs> Reference back early. If you <laughs> That's know, you crazy. Know. <laughs> Joey Wood. Holy <laughs> shit. That like brought back a bunch of different memories. There's nothing like seeing the career paths that your little league teammates went on. You yeah. know? I, he wasn't my little league teammate, but you know what I, I, mean? I know what you mean though. Uh I was actually just thinking about this the other day. And honestly, just in regards to Maddie T, like obviously we all knew he was going to do something, but he went lawyer route and everyone else, I mean, not everyone else, but like, yeah, I went, we went complete opposite directions. I was like, I don't know what I want to do. I don't really give a shit. And he's like, Oh, I know I'm going to go make a fuck ton of money. And it's just like, it's crazy to see uh, where people ended up. The craziest one though is uh, Dom Vargas. RIP shit. Talk about little league teammates. That's Wait, the what saddest happened? one. He, I, I don't know exactly what happened, but passed away probably four or five years ago now. Okay. Um, I think he went to like Purdue or Vanderbilt or something like that, but it's it's just crazy. You know what I mean? It's like. Uh, Wait, is this Matt Vargas' brother? Who's, who is this? Uh, I don't think it's Matt Vargas' brother. Um, Cause we were <laughs> we're deep in our reference. We yeah. No, you're good. Reference Matt Vargas. Yet. Matt Vargas was, uh, his dad was the the shorter guy, right? The uh, yeah, yeah, not yeah. not. I don't think it was his brother. The ah. Bears. You know what? Yes, exactly. The Bears. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been. I don't know because they look so different. But I feel like because Dominic looked lighter, but Matt was super dark, and his dad was light. So I don't fucking. I have no idea. Could have been. Good guys. Um, absolutely. What's what is Matt <laughs> Vargas up to? That's. <laughs> That's the I one. see him around. I think he's got a lady. Like he's probably gonna get. He, if he's not married already, he's gonna get married pretty Damn. soon. Damn, that's crazy. That's so. The I other mean, one. while we're on the topic of marriages, I mean, besides the fact that Wedding Crashers is an all-time great movie, mm-hmm. um, my brother Seth is getting engaged. You know, or he's really? engaged. When is that? Does he know when the wedding is? I, I knew he was November, engaged. and I'm concerned. You Have know? you met the girl yet? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, not about the girl. The girl's great. The girl's great. Just about the planning. Just about the planning. Uh, uh, I see. I think I mean, I think I need to get hands on. But the really the topic that I wanted to share with you is, you know, bachelor party for Seth. Ooh, I think a camping trip is in the works, you know, dude, I better get the invite. (laughs) 
I feel, you're 100 percent getting the invite bro. i feel bad because he texts me all the time and it's just our schedules I'm yeah you, me, Seth, and Jay Roach? Dude, that would be so fun. <laughs> D Roach? <laughs> exactly. We'll just listen to do his uh, Brenda and Xavier voices all night. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jason. <laughs> It'll be his night, dude. Oh, just it's, like it always is. Uh, that would be Seth. so fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm super down. I mean, let's yeah. let's get Ben in there, too. I know he's not much of a well, camper. Well, Ben, of course. Yeah, he's but, a camper. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. That would be fun as fuck. Uh, good old Sethry. I know. He's like always telling me he's got Tuesdays off, and Tuesdays are literally like the busiest day I have. Um, just sucks. That's crazy. He's getting uh, getting married. That's the other one where I feel like we don't really have uh, too many friends that are at that level yet. Um, but but we're at that age. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm starting to get like, like cousins and stuff. I mean, obviously my brother's fucking married. Um, yeah. Just weird feels weird I, i'm starting to get old enough to where if there's girls i'm dating it's like you know like are you looking to have kids <laughs> right? like a thing or whatever like it's like you know they have a certain window so it's like that's true it, it kind of just happens like that like if you want to start a family kind of now is kind of the time well that's do the, so the thing is like our parents i know shit was different back then but like how much earlier they were having kids than us like they are already we legends f- <laughs> are they Did we live way oh. more, no are we <laughs> like we know. like to think of our parents of living such legendary lives and shit like that but they had us when they were 20 something it's like right right had but like the thing is they also for the most part were already like into their careers and stuff it wasn't like they were having kids with like just on a whim um, right 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 they were already yeah. but but still yeah it's fucking it's but wild. still like our age is when they i don't know a lot of listeners parents had them at around you know in their mid-20s and stuff like that i'm sure what do you what do yeah. you think the most common age of mothers Ooh. And fathers, I guess those are two separate questions. Yeah, but. I feel like the the father's always going to be a little bit older. I feel like the the men's age skews up on that one, but the women, that's a tough question. I feel like uh, maybe like should we put should we put some guesses in here? I mean, let's go final answer on something. My final answer would be twenty seven. I was going to go twenty four. Ooh, okay. Um, I was leaning a little younger, and I felt like I was going too old. You felt like you were going too old. I'm going to look that one up. I think I think it it might be twenty. No way, right? <laughs> All right, we were both off. We were both <laughs> low. The average age of mothers oh. giving birth is thirty. Thirty. Yeah. What do you think about the guys or men? It's, I'm gonna go thirty-five. Like you know, a little bit over. I'm not thinking it's forty. Um, how would but I, the, how would I know, Google is this average is, or Are we doing the average or the median? Cause Jim, this is an important topic that I want to discuss because averages are fucked. Say for example, say for example, you're talking about average income in America. Mm-hmm. You're putting in Elon and Bezos, right? Right. It's going to, it's going to skew the average, but I I mean, are we also including homeless people? Because the average of, uh, you know what I mean? I feel like there's way more homeless people than there are billionaires. Right. But the income difference, I guess, you know, I think there's plenty yeah. of people at zero. Um, That is true, but, though. All right. The only the only thing I was trying to make is there's a big difference if you were to do that, the average or if you were to do like the median. So like you cross off the lowest one, cross right. off the highest. And find oh, what's in the middle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, have you ever used so, the mode? Now now we're speaking of mean, medians, and modes. That's mode? Is that the most common, right? Um, like liar's dice, maybe? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was trying to think of that's like the one I couldn't think of like a like a real life application. Um, liars dice. Um, this thing says thirty five for men. So ding 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 ding. ding, ding. Um, which I feel like is pretty pretty spot on. I mean, I mean, speaking of ding ding ding, did you not have Jones in the fight? Was that not your pick? <sighs> That was that was my pick. Um, that was a huge pick for me. Huge win. Um, the did whole you throw some case. I did. Uh, it was all on parlays though because he ended up being the favorite. I should have thrown money on him early. He was a, a dog. I mean, who was stupid enough to make him that? Um, yeah. 
and then the money but started also, coming. Also, there was in. some talk about him being a favorite. Was kind of he was undeserving of that, right? Be coming off of like three, three years, years or whatever, right? Almost but, four years, first time. But then you heavy. see the videos of him fucking laser focused, listening to Cejudo teach him how to fucking literally you know not blow his wad and that's like, the craziest oh. part about Cejudo is he's done that for like four or five fights like and i'm sure yeah. they're going over a bunch of things so it's just like there's going to be a video somewhere in the mix of them doing that but like he's predicted for fighters like the exact ending sequences um really oh yeah Dude, Cejudo Cejudo is a fucking gamer man yeah I feel like that guy gets every ounce of his potential is what you see with Sudo, you right. know, more than maybe anyone, you know. Definitely. And he like uh capitalized huge on like the like the social media stuff, like the cringe. He calls himself like the king of cringe, just doesn't give a shit. Um mm-hmm. but he's got his own fight coming up against Aljo, Aljamain Sterling soon. So Aljo? Aljo. Um, Aljo Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. That's really funny. <laughs> Uh, that was a good Jean Jacques Machado, <laughs> Joe Hogan. Um, Who's your favorite trainer in the UFC? Like, is that a crazy question? Trainer, coach, names? like trainer, coach. Yeah, like um, you know, like corner guy. Is ooh. there any standout corner guy? There's, there's a bunch. Like, One comes to mind for me. Who's but I don't yours? even know how active he is. Faraz Zahabi. Very. I, uh, there's guys coming out of TriStar all the time. He's not yeah. as active as he was because he was like GSP's main dude, and it was just right and solid um but he still corners a few guys uh the i guess one big one would be mike brown you probably see him all the time he's a ginger guy he uh he coaches american top team and there's fucking probably mm. 300 fighters that fight out of there um but the ones i like ray longo and matt sarah they're from mm. uh new york and they just fucking they shit talk Sarah, i remember and, sarah i watched the sarah fight when he beat dsp right yeah yeah exactly yeah there you go and they're in actually aljamain sterling the guy who's fighting what's his name uh triple c they're in his corner or <laughs> aljamain hogan aljamain hogan <laughs> uh <laughs> Well, and then uh, they were, and then he kicked Sarah out of the corner for Ally Quinta, which is, like, shitty, but Ally Quinta's sick. Mm. He's the guy that fought Khabib on, like, two days' notice and took him to the distance. Um, Wow. Yeah. Wait, Khabib went to the distance? Yeah, with uh, Ally. Was he undefeated? No, he went to, like, the fourth round. My bad. He didn't go to the distance. Uh, Khabib, yeah. (laughs) And is is he retired? retired and then he uh started coaching he was like coach of the year 2022 i think for the mma awards oh, wow. and then retired it was like fuck it uh, i want to go spend time with my family so he pretty much what checked a- every box uh turner meeker hates him though he would say he's a dirty little rat and he's not the <laughs> goat and he would go on for 10 minutes so shout out book meek um yeah. But no, Joe uh not Joe John John Jones i didn't even think he had the choke in it looked like he was just folding Wrong the guy's head strength. down, and then, yeah. And then, at the end, you kind of saw him get it in, but uh, it was crazy. Good for him. I'm stoked. The GOAT. Undisputed. Um, GOAT? Yeah, I think so, like, so. And since he's a heavyweight, that means that anyone in the history of the UFC, anyone, period, you would put him in the cage. Yeah, there's... <sighs> Is there anyone that, with no, that I, proposition, I... it changes? Anyone in the cage, I, I think he wins. Uh, he's the thing about him is he mixes the styles and like the aspects of martial arts better than anybody. His wrestling he fuses everything way better than everybody. It's crazy. His hand fighting, so it's like guys are always hands out. He's always grabbing wrists and making them do weird shit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I really do think anyone, him versus anybody, he wins. I mean, a lot of the guys have DC high up on the list too. Um, or Who were the great a. heavyweights of the like early era. I'm trying to think. Um, Kane. Yeah, Kane Velasquez. Some, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Brock Lesnar. Uh, which Ooh, was Lesner. which? John oh, Jones after Mir? this last fight, Frank Mir, but Prime Mir maybe gets a little ankle hook on him. Right. That's the is thing. That a, is that a real thing? Uh, ankle lock. I mean, you could yeah. you could make fucking names up for whatever in jiu-jitsu that's why it's great you just fucking say yeah. something and everyone's like yep i know what you mean i you know, <laughs> I know what you mean um i don't know that one would be interesting because all he does need to is just get a hold of one and he's ripping it as hard as he can um but i think jones is good enough takedown d to keep it on the feet and keep his distance uh 
That, that would be interesting. And he, he said, he called out, not called out, but he was like, Brock, if you ever want to want to do it, I know we were supposed to a long time ago, but it's like, yeah, you know, that would be bad. Get, getting Brock <laughs> back now. Yikes. Um, well, do, did you see that there's going to allow betting on the WWE? Well, they, I, dude, crazy. <laughs> it just came out, right? Like, well, was, so I, I guess. I just saw this today. Uh, I know uh, one of like. Colorado the, Springs. Exactly. So I saw that one. And then the last, what is it called? Sm- not SmackDown. Oh, Royal Rumble. So that's the one where they bring in guys every minute or whatever. They bring in a new guy. And they allowed betting on the last one of those. And this guy was watching a podcast where he's like, hey, like, put money here. And I didn't listen. I was just like, oh, there's no way he. And the guy ended up winning. It was ridiculous. Cody Rhodes ended up winning. Um, no way. Yeah. And I was like, how, how do you bet on that? On fucking pre-planned outcomes? It's ridiculous. Dude, Vince, Mc, Vince McMahon's cousin. Is that what it cousin's is? Cousin's husband. No, I'm just Oh, saying, yeah. Like, no, exactly. <laughs> what are we why would you here? not? Yeah. Like, what are we doing? I think that's what Floyd does, actually. Well, and I think that's how Floyd is so rich. I think he's picked the round on a lot of this stuff and gotten it, um, like, with millions of dollars. You know, he's bet on himself every fight. Exactly. And I don't think And he's fifty and oh or whatever it is. Exactly. So like, and he keeps fighting exhibitions too. That's the thing. Like he just fought two weeks ago. No one had any idea if Floyd was fighting. Fought again. Um got it probably got it. no way he got less than a million. I was gonna say uh, another mil at least. That's so low. That's such um, a conservative estimate. Exactly. And yeah. I'm sure that's just that's on top of him getting paid to get out there and all that. That's that's what he gets for just stepping in the ring. Um but yeah, no, I don't uh I don't know about betting. It's such a slippery slope. The UFC is in a tough one right now. Uh, one of the coaches, James Krause, was now investigated by the FBI for fixing fights. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, he leaked the script. Well, he supposedly his fighter was injured, <laughs> and he told the guy to go out and take a dive. But uh, he runs like a Discord. He runs like a betting channel where he like he's a coach, but he also gives bets for the UFC. Cause He's got it. He used to fight. Yeah, not, exactly. Yeah. It's, uh, but now one of his own guys, I get like right before the fight, a bunch of money came in for him to lose via first round knockout. The guy throws yeah. his first kick, falls to the ground. The guy smashes him, fights over, and just like couldn't be more obvious. Um, so he's like the Giannis rebound to get the triple double. Dude, love it. How did you feel about that? I'm a big fan. Fuck it all. I love it. I hated the fact they took it away. Did they? They took it away. They rescinded the rebound. Why? That's I a board. Hate that. And and what you know what else I hate? Why are we not getting a bucket there? Yeah. Why are we not going and flushing that ball home? I don't understand that. Oh, there's eight seconds left in the game, so I'm not going to get this bucket. One, get your money, dude. Averages, stats, for sure. All that shit. Points per minute. You know all this different shit. But then, secondly. Go play ball. The game's not over. Well, exactly. And sometimes over? they take the turnover. It's like I would not be putting that on my fucking stat sheet. Fucking blow me. Yeah. Or t- they take no. a bad or they take a bad jumper. Exactly. When they could literally drive to the rim every just, time. We don't have to get worse. Treat this like a practice. Um, I'm we, sure you've heard a coach say that, you know? Second half, you're blowing them out. We it used to mean- have a play called Syracuse and NJB. And it was literally like two two guys stacked on the free th- either side of the free throw line, and it was just like, like man man on man screens flare the next guy fill like, and you would just do that for because there's no shot clock. You would do that to waste time. It's like you we're not just sitting here fucking around. We're still running plays. Like you're still playing hard. It I absolutely hate that. I can't believe they took the rebound away though. That That's is some bullshit, right? Such bullshit. She got the rebound and then put it right back up and dunk that shit. Oh my god! You're I wonder... chasing this MVP, man. This is an MVP race. And I wonder if he has any incentives in the contract with with triple doubles. I'm triple sure double. there's got to be something. Um, but speaking of MVP race, what do we think of Kendrick Perkins uh, saying? What do you say? He said Jokic and Luca have only been getting MVPs because they're white. Neither of them got an MVP. Or he said, I no, he's, I think he's talking jokage. I think he said Luca because yeah. he's being discussed this year. He gets the looks. Yeah. 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 Um, because they're white. And they, neither of them have led the, the league in scoring. And I guess that's been like a constant of all the other MVPs. Um, but what do, you, what, what do you I, think? I mean, to be honest, I don't, I mean, I don't, obviously, I think race plays a factor in how NBA stars are perceived for sure. 
Mm-hmm. I don't think white privilege stops once you make it to the NBA. There's definitely marketing deals and different looks and kind of, I don't know, different quote unquote privileges that you have with that. Mark Cuban but, in deals? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but I don't think this is necessarily about race. I think this is about analytics. I think mm. the voters got analytics happy, particularly, was it last year? So, how, so Jokic won it. I think he's got two, right? Two, He's got the past two. I think so. It At least right. one of those was Joel's. And the other was probably Giannis's, if I'm being honest. Mm-hmm. I think the first one was Giannis's, and the second one was Joel's. It was last year. Joel had the number one seed in the East. Right. He had he was leading the league in scoring. The stats were all very comparable. But then if you think everything's equal, all the podcasts the whole way are saying, man, this is dead heat, Joel and Jokic. All right. What do stats like? What is harder for stats to show? The defensive shit. You're not really going to tell me that Joel Embiid is is not affecting shots more than Jokic. I don't think yeah. Jokic is a bad defender, but Joel Embiid is a very special defender. Right. Exactly. That's a good way of putting it. Um, he's a two. He's a legit two way guy. Um, for sure. And he's he's had Philly like he was leading the league in scoring. I think he's still on this tear. Like yeah. Definitely still is. But, but this year, Jokic has that one seed in the West. He's making it look easy. He's making everyone better. So, I mean, I, I got Jokic this year. Um, Yeah, and that's the thing. He's probably going to win, or he might. I, I could see him not winning the one year he should win and, and winning the two he shouldn't. You know what I mean? It's just and that's up. what I hate. And that's I think that might happen. But I don't think it's going to go to Giannis because he got a little injured there and then right. Joel's kind of fallen out of the race. Everyone kind of talks about him like he's in third, mm-hmm. but it just pisses me off because I think this should be Jokic's undisputed MVP season, but it just should be his first. Right. That's a good, good point. Um, now, I think it should wait Giannis, Joel, Jokic. Yeah. Yeah. Three different as opposed to Jokic, Jokic, Jokic. Um, and I think it better represents who the best player was in each year well and that's that's what i was going to ask who were the nuggets last year do you think the mvp is more about who the best player is or who's the most valuable to their team because i feel like those are two different things it's neither it's neither i think it i think it is all encompassing it's all encompassing i wanted to easily just say best player on the best team like i think that's a starting place i think you start there for the mvp and then if there's no like extraneous if it's clear then it's clear but maybe if the best player was i don't know something where it's like pg and Kawhi, pg 13 paul george and Kawhi. like Mm -hmm. you know maybe if it's a two-headed monster they're kind of undefined and then there's another one in the other conference who has the number one seed and is dominating so i don't know i think it should be the guy driving the bus for the best team that's that's fair. Um, as a starting place. Yeah. Not as a rule. Not right. As a to open up the rule. conversation at at where does this guy stand compared to everybody else? Um, do you think it ever can be a guy who's on a 500 team but just got shitbirds all around him and you can say 50% of the wins are solely because of him? I mean, could he the ever Russell be? Russell Westbrook? Yeah, I, I guess that's a good... I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Russell Westbrook <laughs> was the shit, guy. Right, triple-double Re- machine. and then Jokic. Those are the only two guys that have done it with like being worse than a five seed, unless we start going way back. True. If you um, really start thinking about all these MVPs, they're all like upper seeds in the playoffs. But I think the what's it called? I think the Westbrook one should have went to Harden. Uh, so yeah, no, the five hundred thing, no. I mean, how impressive is it to? You know, I don't want to say I could get a team to five hundred, but it's like right. I could get I could get scored. I could have KD drop fifty on me. You know what I mean? For so sure. it's like. Yeah. At a certain point, yeah, you reward extraordinary. Um, that's that's a good point, and it's I I could see that because you could play, you could literally play dog shit fifty percent of the games, and then have you know what I mean. So I, I, I get want someone point. carrying the team, you know, yeah, to that place successfully. And that year, you think it's Jokic, the the Joker. The, this year, it's Jokic. Yeah. I think that's clear. Best player, best team, driving the bus. Um, you know, I, I don't know if they're a clear cut best team, but the Celtics are pretty dang good. The Celtics, since they just lose the Knicks, I watched that game. Trash. Yeah, that was, that was 
Mr. Quickly, six man of the year candidate. <laughs> Odds skyrocketing. Good thing I locked that in at seven hundred to one. Did you actually? I was, like, uh, <laughs> I was just say shit. That's a, that's a fucking. Pick. I don't know. I didn't even know who he was until that <laughs> happened. But it, he's on my he's on my radar now. Right. That's like Shaq and that one guy. I didn't know who he was. Uh, um, class. Did you see Russ last night kicking the fans out of the game? They were talking shit every time he touched the ball. They were yelling, shoot it. And so he got butt hurt and said, yeah, yeah, you're gone. Yeah. And I think that there was like a big thing going on with the NBA of like empowering the players to feel safe at games because there was shit going on. Right. There was a bunch yeah. of shit going on with like mostly Utah and side. Boston. <laughs> Just some right? racist yeah. ass shit. And, and mostly with Russell Westbrook. <laughs> yeah. It seemed to be every time. You know, well, I think he's but just I, soft. I hate to say it, but like at what point he, do you just call him soft? No, I mean, soft isn't the word that comes to mind, but delusional is more so the word that comes to mind for me. Like, and and some of he's definitely done some soft activities, but I'm thinking like this guy doesn't know that he's not Russell Westbrook anymore. That's, That's kind of how I see it, and he still thinks it's a lack of self awareness to me. But is there anything funnier than when he thinks he's still sick doing his little like dance and well, stuff? Well, that's what I'm saying. It was <laughs> sick when you were MVP. Like it was so sick, but it's just not anymore because you haven't won a, a game you started in since last season. Is that a real stat? That's crazy. It's a real stat. Just got traded to the Clippers. So he wasn't starting for the Lakers. He lost like the last four games of last season as a starter. Gets traded and then he gets traded over to uh, the Clippers. They Just throw the him the starting side. lineup, lose lose five in a row. Oh. I mean, yeah, I mean, selfish basketball can work if you're Michael Jordan, and it could fucking kill you if you're Russell Scott. Westbrook. <laughs> yeah, um, and that you... wasn't Scottie Pippen. That was the guy from the rec league. Early <laughs> listeners now. Early listeners. Now. <laughs> That's good. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, Scotty Pippen. Oh, Russell. Isn't it crazy? The comparisons of Russell Wilson and Russell Westbrook now. I mean, they, I feel like they're the same person. They're both kind of delusional. They're both kind of past their prime. I mean, yeah, I hate the Wilson RW initials sunk in with me as much, I guess. Really? I think I, am oh. still, I think I am holding out a little bit of hope for, for Mr. Um, Unlimited. Unlimited. <laughs> well, with Sean Payton, I guess uh, I guess that's true. It might be one year's too early to make that call. Um, but I'm I'm interested to see what they have to do uh, this year. I can never get an honest take out of Bug what he thinks the, the Broncos are going to be. He's telling me another Super All Bowl hopeful, place. and I'm like, dude, it's just just cut it to me straight. Um, yeah, but he well, can't. I drafted Russell Wilson this year. I said, I said, I'm a draft, Mister. Uh, unlimited that's so good and i and it, it bit me and then i went with kirk cousins um, so too much information i want to tell you about a story so love it that's i got an, about an uber driver oh, you know the you. uber driver combos right so i get in I'm like yada yada the cool cars it's electric yeah, yeah, or not, not a, it wasn't electric <laughs> but anyway we get to talking about the cars and he's like what type of car do you want like What's the or he knew a lot about cars or something like that. Uh, I was like, "What's the most badass car in the world?" He showed me this car that was super sick, and then he was like, "What's your dream car? Like, what car would you want?" And I was just like, "Uh, like I don't really know, but like I think I'd probably want something electric, like maybe a Tesla or maybe like a nice electric Mercedes, something mm-hmm. like that." And then and then he was like, "Like, did you get the gearhead lecture? Language, threw a body language fit." <laughs> Right, so he clearly had something <laughs> yes, to say about electric got a cars, right? Like he, was, he couldn't hold himself back, and he's like, "Why do you want an electric car?" And I was just like, "Well, you know, kind of like the first reason is that you know, no gas, right? So I wouldn't have to pay for gas. I could just kind of charge up." Mm-hmm. He does this whole thing about the fucking watts that it takes to charge up and how it's going to be on your electricity bill, and you don't get the range and all this stuff. And I'm like, "All right, cool." Like it was all informational, like nothing. No, it's nothing crazy he's not whatever right and then and then he was like something about the battery he's like you know those cars need a battery so after 15 years you know the battery runs out and then you're gonna have to pay twenty thousand thirty thousand dollars for a new battery i mean I was, like, I was like okay i i didn't think this guy was completely full of shit i think i i 
thought he was well informed. But well, the I was thing just like, is, okay. that's all right now. What happens in ten years when they expand that till fifty years, and it's like your car is eroding before your battery is? And he told me this. Now we'll determine if he's full of shit, Jamie. He said that. <laughs> he said that. He said that the Tesla charging isn't free. Is it free or is it not free? I thought I heard Elon say on Joe Rogan that it's free. Um, I don't think it's free. I do okay. think that a lot of places, like a lot of workplaces will offer it free. So like, right. like Google, like every tech place fucking around, even like Mikey's company, I think they offer free Tesla parking and charging, um, as an incentive to get you to want to drive. And I really don't think it's that expensive. So I don't think they're fucking losing their nut on it. You know what I mean? Right. Exactly. Um, but even like Mikey and Scotty charge it at their house as well. And it's like, so wait, does Mig drive a Tessie? Yeah, yeah. Him and Scotty both oh. have Scotty J both have Teslas. Um what color? Both Red. both white. And they look like a nice oh, gay couple no. from the little one. <laughs> Very cute Not of them. Not the matching Tessie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but no, they charge theirs at their house sometimes, and it I've never heard them fucking say boo about it being ridiculous. Uh right. I still think it's cheaper than gas. I I feel like if you really wanted to get into an issue, you could say that the cobalt or whatever they have to use for the batteries. That's, that's what I was bringing up. That's where I brought up that point. And that guy probably doesn't give a fuck about that. Cause he's probably no, like, let's it, export No, everything. but he, he did go on about that, about how it's obviously very fucking either expensive to mine. Either you do it with mining in a very expensive way or you do it with labor. Right. In a very dangerous way. For sure. Um, and it was something about, Something um, about the environment too, like the what's it called? The production to get the minerals or some something like that causes yeah. more than the whole lifespan of his car in totality. If that made sense, so yeah. And I, I've heard people say that by the time they chop down the fucking areas they need, by the time they use the resources to extract them, ship them over here, turn them into actual parts and whatnot. But I mean, I don't know. The, yeah. the greatest part about America is who gives a fuck. I, I hate to say it that way, but like. I thought you were going to go innovation. Nah, nah. The freedom. Nah, you get to do whatever you want. Exactly. Yeah, I guess yeah. I am going freedom. Yeah. 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 Who gives a fuck? It, you just. Everything's got pros and cons. You're just taking the ones that you can mentally sit with easier. Mm. I don't know. And we're all different. Preach, brother. I've been listening to a lot of Lex Friedman's podcasts. Lately. Wow. Did you listen to the last one with That's the B team? I swear to God. And tell me if I'm a fucking podcast bro, but that is more than a college education. <sighs> if you watch every single one of those, that's where you're going to get better than the education you get in the classroom. You have ideas being debated against each other. For you sure. have, you have like full on com Well, that's how I learned. So maybe it just works best for me. Like yeah. I learned best from conversations. So, no, that's I do as of, well. And maybe it's just a personal thing, but yeah. The disagreements is where you learn, I feel like, especially in that show, because Lex has the ability to sit there and just be quiet for 30 minutes while someone explains so something. Good. And then he can he's taking notes. He can recall back, ask questions about specific things, and really right get one, to why, sure. why someone thinks of the way they do as opposed to what they're actually thinking. And I feel like the why, obviously, I mean – like we're saying, I don't want to sound fucking cheesy, but that's more important. And that, that'll tell you more about the person than yeah. what they're thinking. Um, but And the, I think that no, the, go on. The, I just want to say really quick before I lose it is that the, anything that's being discussed on Lex Friedman's podcast or whatever is something that's relevant. Like mm. this is what is relevant in the world today. The pressing topics, the most important things to know, not to say it's like the end all be all podcast for the most important things going on. I just mean that if it's being discussed and debated on this podcast, that means it's something that's really relevant to society. Whereas getting a college education, some of the stuff will be, some of the stuff won't be, you yeah. know what I mean? So. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, it definitely pertains more to more to today's world than a fucking college education where you're going to use a 10th of what you learn. Maybe. Um, right. But yeah, this is the, the only problem with Lex is he has some people on and he gives them way more credit lens lends their credibility um, mm. more more than it deserves, maybe. Um, I've noticed that on a couple. But, uh, yeah, like, I mean, it doesn't need to get into specifics. But, there, yeah, there's a few where it's like, 
I don't know. I would like to to see maybe Who? someone else in here debating not you know I mean not Lex. Like I don't think he's well versed enough in a topic to mm. to ask the opposing ideas. Um, right. But yeah. No. Still, it's a fucking very educational. That's how I felt about Rogan for the longest time, and then like something happened like two years ago where. I, I, he just started. He's got to get the right repeating, episodes, but at the same like, time, fuck. he like spoke to everyone, you know. Yeah, and that's like, the thing. Yeah, a thousand I, episodes in, he spoke to the, the thousand most interesting people on the planet, and then it's just like, or in America, whatever it is, for sure. But that's like the the shittiest part is like, I had like I had that FOMO like where I'm like I'm missing out because like some of the best Rogans are like the shittiest guests, like ones that you mm. would think this guy's going to be a nobody. And then like ends up having some crazy story about fucking walking across Antarctica or some bullshit or, you know what I mean? Like some wild stuff. Um, yeah, I think I, I, I saw a little like documentary slash podcast on the guy that walked across Antarctica. Yeah. He's crazy. So I'm familiar with the story. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I do. I can't believe people used to like that used to be like the main way of travel would be like, I mean, obviously not walking, but like sled dog, but like that shit was fucked that like you would just have to walk or like even a wagon across the country. Like what the fuck? I thought you were going to say that was the main way of like showing your muscles or showing no. you got a big dick was like walking across continents. No. Like now we just flex our fucking rollies on Instagram back in the day. You had to walk, walk across, across the continent. Antarctica. I'll be back in fucking 10 years, bitch. Yeah. Um, no, but that's just, I can't, like, it's so hard to, to comprehend fucking traveling across in a wagon. It just blows my mind. Um, Dude, he was doing 12-hour days pulling his fucking sled. Right. Like, this guy was nuts. Not being able to see in front of him, just knowing one foot in front of the other, the compass is taking me the right way. The first day he got he got 100 yards, something like that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> Dude, at that second, that's when I'm going back to the starting line. But he's like, nope. Keep going. Finish line. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, fuck fuck all of that. There's no way uh, I'm doing that. The only good thing, though, is like, I guess the more you eat and drink, the lighter your load gets. So it's like I would just be fucking uh-huh. hammering, <laughs> just trying to <laughs> fuck making it last, just make it as light as possible. Um, no, I don't know. Absolutely. Um, this past weekend, your boy came home, San Jose, California. Shout out. Um, shout out, shout out. Yeah, I know. I couldn't meet up with you guys, unfortunately. Um, no, that's on me, bro. You hit me up Saturday night. I had a little something, something going on. So, Scoochie. Yeah. What were you doing up in SF? Man, just on a little date night. Ooh. Okay. Something light. Something light. Something I see light. you. Just some old friends. You know? Um, some but, old friends. Okay. Uh, New friends, some old genies friends, friends uh, shit uh, on nah. the floor. <laughs> 49, 50. 49. You know, some old friends. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to make a dumb joke. Uh, but no, uh, um, saw the boy Peahawk. We played a little uh, 2K. Um, still ran getting his him. number in 2K? Yeah. yeah. I ran him. I ran D Roach. I ran T Bone. And then Matty T shows up. Who's T Bone? Tyler Hawkins. <laughs> I kept calling him T Bone, and D Roach was just loving it. He That's was just awesome. Like, yeah, <laughs> D Roach yeah. is the the best hype man probably ever. I, it's crazy. Of all time, he's of the best. Time. Um. So yeah, Matty T showed up in a collared shirt though. What was he doing? Lawyer stuff, dude. You so he's someone important or some some type of lawyer or some. Can't. That's a Jay Z bar. Um. Not me. Um. What was I going to ask? Oh, did you see? Uh, we'll, we'll go back to the NBA real quick. Did you see Steve Ballmer, best owner in the NBA? Um, Clippers guy, Clippers owner. No, I know who he oh. is. I'm trying to think of other owners. I mean, obviously Cuban, but go crazy. No, nah, but you say? he, the new stadium that they're building for the Clippers, he put in three. Inglewood. Right? Inglewood. Inglewood. Um, he put rich in rich what? <laughs> rich, <laughs> rich what? Uh, that I feel like that's another one we always find a way to back to the rich what Richmond in the podcast one way or another. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> but he put in three times as many toilets in the new stadium because he said he wants people's asses back in the seats. He's like, I don't want people waiting in line. He's like, I, I, so we put three times as many. That's like a that's a big brain move in my in my book. That guy's always yeah. thinking. Um. 
Yeah, the janitors are like, we getting three times pay? What's going, what's going on? Fuck, I didn't even think what's, about that. What's going on here? Um, that's I'll like hire someone else. We'll take shifts here. Fuck, I, I did not think about that. That's like uh, one of those things. This is like it made no sense to me at first. I was like, ah, that actually might fucking end up paying off for them. Like putting people in the seats. It sounds stupid, but uh, no, it's smart. It's very Elani, right? Musky. Very Windows 95-y, very uh, mm. autistic-y, if I do say mm-hmm. so myself. Um, mm-hmm. Very private island-y. Yes. <laughs> very Jeffrey Epstein-y. Uh, oh. <laughs> there it is. There he said it. <laughs> um, all right. Fuck it. Let's uh, let's get into the draft. Let's just do let's it. Let's do it, man. Um, today, we're going to do a Disney draft, Disney movies. Um I said from what was it is Sleeping Beauty is that the first one whatever the first oh, Disney cartoon is up until recent day you know what I mean I was just giving right. you the timeline just right 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 but everything you're gonna say is gonna fall in that window um so Disney cartoons um yes Disney I Pixar want to throw a quick disclaimer out there what's up anti semitism's running wild right now Walt Disney I gotta say not a fan. Of the person, some great movies. Why weren't you a fan of the person? You know, like Operation Paperclip, you know. Yeah, but that was with NASA researchers, not... uh, Walt Walt Disney brought Nazis to the United States and hid them. Oh, yeah. Well, that's uh, that's a good reason. But he he makes a hell of a film, like you said, man. I mean... Sorry to shit on this uh, draft for you, Walt, but... (laughs) My uh, I, my ancestors spoke to me. What can I say? I had to had to put that out there. Hey, that's completely fair. I feel that Walt. Uh, I don't think he meant it. You know, there. I, I'll mm. go out on a limb and say it. I'll defend it. Is Harwood in the right place? Yeah, I hope. Um, <laughs> but yes, Disney movies. That's the draft. Um, Josh, you're gonna be first. Yes. Um, I'll let you take it. Um, and here we go. Do do. Bit boo boo boo. Give it to me. Jim knows exactly Pause. where I'm going with this one. Got it tatted on me. Very important movie to me. Lion King. Wow. It's the standard for Disney movies. In my mind, I thought it was the undisputed number one. But maybe that's just a me thing. Like, I thought that was, it's the hero's journey, right? Mm-hmm. You know? Tragedy. Now, who, home. who yeah. do you align with most in Lion King? Are you a, a Simba guy or are you a... I hate to admit I'm a Simba guy, but like if if I were to zoom out a bit, I'm probably a Pumbaa guy. Wow, ooh, that's that's knowing yourself. I feel that. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm more of a Scar guy, you know. Um, oh, I, I always yeah. I always seem to align more with the villains in these. Like when you when you zoom, like, I mean, again, zooming out, they seem to be making a lot of sense. Dude, Simba was all nepotism. He was just a he was just a boy. Mm-hmm. Scar was there. He'd been ready. Exactly. He was the next. I mean, the next in line. He was the next top dog. He was just doing what lions yeah. do. And he took out the top dog. Just do. Hey, but that's what you want just, your top just, dog. Just to a do, little right? push off the ledge. Boop. See ya. <laughs> oh wait. Oh yeah. brother. Oh no. Um. No, nah, but I. I don't know. I. I felt like they Scar got a bad rap. He's just. He's a lion. What do you want him to do? Yeah, he. He was no hyena. Exactly. I feel you. Wow. The hyenas. Those were the real villains. Um, Those were the real villains. Kind of crazy. Uh, do you remember the first time you ever watched Lion King, or was it one of those that you just have watched so many fucking times over the years? So many times, but I haven't seen it in years and years and years since I was a kid. Really? I really? Bet, I, I, I didn't see the new one either. Is there a new one? Like the like Beyonce and oh. fucking John Favreau. I didn't even know that it. they they did that. Um, yeah. Live I, animation. Yeah, live action or whatever they're calling them. Um, Childish Gambino. Yeah. That's racist. Um, what? <laughs> he, uh, he did the voice acting. For did you see Childish Gambino said that Chevy Chase called him an N-word on set on Community? Oh, no. Oh, I don't know who Chevy Chase is. But you know Chevy Chase. <laughs> National Lampoon. Oh, oh, is he like the stand-up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like the hack stand-up? Yeah. Or like the hack stand-up? The it, only one that can get away with it? Yeah, exactly. He does like the Pratt Falls and stuff like that. Was uh, he in the fraternity movie? Van Wilder. That's what you just said, right? No, I said National... I guess Van Wilder's National Lampoon. I'm talking National Lampoon, like Christmas Vacation and... Big Eyes. 
Uh, you might be thinking of John Belushi. <laughs> I'm thinking of Roger Dangerfield. Oh, Rodney Dangerfield. You definitely are. Big eyes, yeah. bug eyes, fucking popping out the head. Um, Caddyshack, classic. Caddyshack. Wow. I'll never forget Hunter telling me the story of inviting all of his friends over for like his ninth birthday party or something like that. And like his parents sat him down and they watched Caddyshack. Like they thought Caddyshack would be, I mean, I'm all in. But, yeah, um, that's definitely going over every little funny thing in that. Is, well, actually, there was a cute little beaver. They made it kind of <laughs> like fun. Yeah, they made it kind of like fun. But. Right, but that's one where you start saying lines and you don't know what they mean until like you get older and you're like, oh shit, that's what I was saying. Um, well, was it? I don't remember how raunchy it was. Was it super raunchy? I mean, I thought the storyline was excellent. The storyline is pretty good, but it is like Rodney Dangerfield's kind of a asshole. He's always hitting on chicks. I mean, it's fucking. Mm. 70s he, comedy. He does his hack shit. He yeah, does, he's exactly. The hack guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he comes in with the fucking radio in his bag and all that stuff. It's just, yeah. She told me no one's home. She told me come over. No one was home. I came over. I get no, no respect. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Roddy, legend. Lion King, legendary. Um, now I'm going to hit the tones. Bit of boo, boo, boo. And I'm going to go with. Because it has the best soundtrack of any Disney movie ever invented. You know what I'm going with? I hope it's not what I want. Uh Uh-oh. I hope you don't want Tarzan because Tarzan is now off the board. (sighs) No, this is going exactly how I wanted it to go. This is beautiful. You're on crack. Phil Collins made the best soundtrack for any Disney movie ever. Like everyone says, he didn't have to go that hard, and he did. Um, I believe you. Yeah. Have you ever seen Tarzan? No, I have, but like I was a kid, so I don't understand. But like what you're saying is making a lot of sense. Like the soundtrack, that's a very solid argument. I mean, Rosie O'Donnell's in it. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. There's Whore. What? Agreed. Um, I don't know who I don't know who that is. I just know the name though. Um, I don't know why she's famous. <laughs> I don't know why she. I mean, she's an actress, but then uh, she got uh, political. That's the one that Donald Trump was all over. So you just took Donald Trump's side. Hey, who knew? Who would have thought you and the Don had more in common than you thought? There we go. It's just, it's a great life. Um, no, but Tarzan, he uh, gets left in a chest by his parents when they're getting attacked by a jaguar, and uh, gets found by monkeys, raised by them or gorillas, I should say. Um, <laughs> just a great, great movie. Can't get better. Um, I love that movie. It was on my list for certain. Was it? Do you actually have a list this time, or are we just just lying? No, to I don't. Teeth? But me, me, and me, me and Mr. Chad Mills at work today, we we looked up the Wikipedia list. We brought wow. brought out the full list there. So that's all right. I, I definitely. I was I gonna say some- I had to. Uh, I had to consult with my my uh, my sister as well. The the Disney College graduate uh, shout out Morg. She said she better get yeah. a shout out this episode, even though I had this yeah. on lock. I mean. But shout out. Um, I'm going to start putting the polls in the work group chat, honestly. Do it. I didn't make one for last week. I, I totally fucked up last week. Um, I think the timing was a little off. Didn't we kind of do it like maybe the day before or I think something so. like that? Something. But I'll do it this week for sure. Um, I meant to send you too. Brandon what Schaub. What was last week's anyway? It was uh, holidays. Got it. Or two weeks. Uh, but Brandon Schaub posted a thing for his kids' 100th day of school. He's like kids love this day blah 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 and so i felt uh vindicated on my 100th day of school pick <laughs> thank is god it, you're supposed to dress up like you're 100 years old is that the no thing? I, I some so everyone does something different like people will do that or like you bring in a hundred or something or you just yeah. i mean it's just it's a load of shit i just couldn't think mm-hmm. of anything um, 100 push-ups there you go every day <laughs> um a hundred hugs <laughs> There are the tones for you. What are you picking? Round two, Jay Land. Just keep swimming, swimming, wow. swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming. Finding Nemo. I believe they actually put in a Finding Nemo ride at Disney. They do. They have um, a submarine I think for it. Tarzan just has that shitty little like treehouse or whatever. I mean, no, did you just bad. read just all the Wikipedias? Uh, this is no, no, no. no. Let me just talk about my pick. That's my bad. Tarzan <laughs> caught a stray there. Let me bring it back here. Let me I it caught a stray here. there too. What the fuck? <laughs> but Finding, Finding Nemo, I love it. Just keep swimming. I might get it tatted on me. Great life motto right there. And uh, I just love it. It's Bruce. I mean, the characters in this are just Bruce. phenomenal. Um, I mean, that was maybe like I was a little bit older when it came out. Really got to watch it, understand it. That was That was probably my era Disney movie like in all actuality. I grew up on the other shit, but it came out before me. 
Yeah, I like that one because, like you said, we were a little bit older. We were probably a little bit, just a little bit too old. You know what I mean? But like, like it was like one of the ones where it was like a like a rainy day. You could go watch Finding Nemo, and it wouldn't be. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, it's a classic. I mean, no, it for sure is. The only problem I have with it is it doesn't have an antagonist. Really, I mean, it has Darla and the person that stole Nemo, but like. They're in it and for Bruce, five minutes. Bruce. <laughs> but, but he's is not he? an antagonist. Yeah. He's not. He's not. Um, in scenes, he is. But. For sure. I feel like the ocean is more uh, the antagonist mm. of the movie. Or self. You never know. Um, but no, Finding Nemo's fucking great. P. Sherman 42, Wallaby Way, Sydney. I mean, still got it locked in here. It does something mm. to you. Um, <laughs> favorite, favorite part of Finding Nemo? Um, favorite part of Finding Nemo is when they're going to school in the very beginning. Wow, yes. And it just kind of shows he's brushing his teeth in the morning. He, like, brushes up and it's like, wow, oh, okay. Right, then they get they to really fucking... humanize the fish. Right? Ride the man ray, right? Uh, what do they call it? Yeah. Uh, anthropomorphizing. There you go. Giving I'm human qualities to animals. Um, yeah. Yeah, touching the butt. I mean... Who would That's have thought? The peak of the movie. That's a great life lesson. Don't touch butts. You're going to get kidnapped. Um, sea turtles, too. Wow. Crush and Squirt. That, that is a great movie. The craziest thing about Disney movies is they fucking, you don't realize how fast they go by, but they like cover so many plot points in like an hour and 30 minutes. It's like, it's crazy. Shit just moves. Efficient. Um, character arcs. Exactly. Right. But they have to for the kids, I feel like. keep Keeping a kid's attention is. It's a good movie, though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's give Disney credit; they make it for the the parents to watch as well. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. They're always throwing little things in um, here and there. <laughs> uh, love it. I, you know what I was thinking of doing too? Scuba cert. I'm trying to get scuba certified. I feel like that would be sick as fuck. Not for me, but it, it sounds dope. Really, not for you? Not an ocean nah. dweller? No, nah, because things go wrong with everything. For sure. And you and don't when have things air. go wrong and you're underwater, <laughs> that's not good. That's a wrap, son. Not to say it's not safe for others, but I wouldn't be comfortable. For sure. That's a good point. That's kind of why I like it, though. It's not safe. Yeah. I feel like it's... Uh... <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's not me. Yeah. Um. All right. Next pick. Round two. Do-do-do-do-do. I'm going to be taking another movie that was more of our childhood. It's going to be Cars. Oh, um, wow. And Cars Wasn't is another one. Well, what? Sorry, I'll let you go, but wasn't even on my list, and I, I hate myself for it. Wow, great. Feeling real Brooke lopez right now. <laughs> Brooke and Robin made the made the cut. It'll it'll go down in Over history. the Kelsey's. Oh, um, man. But the Cars, another one, great soundtrack. I, I feel like I'm more in it for the soundtrack. Um, mm. But just... Rock and roll. Rock and roll, brother. But a, a, a great three-part series i'll let you even take cars two and three they're not on my list but if you want them you can take them um <laughs> but fucking funny as hell honestly cars like covers all your bases now i don't want to say i thought of it first but i always kind of saw cars as shapes you know with that headlights his eyeballs well i i feel He's like kidding. chevron Everyone saw did. it first you know what i mean huh? chevron was putting it on the maps with their commercials and then cars was like oh Let's uh let's make that a thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's bullshit. Yeah, Chevron. I guess I think Chevron has a deal with Disney. I wonder if they uh mm. they buttered the buns and uh and got something under the table there. Time to lawyer up. Right. Um I agree. Now, do you do you align more with uh, a Mater or a uh, Lightning McQueen? Oh, I'm a Mater. Yeah. Just I'm a mater in the background. Mater Pumbaa, I like to be the buddy. That's fair. That's uh, that's I feel like a, a way better place to be. It's better to be the buddy in a buddy cop movie than it is to be the the main guy that's gonna get shot. Um, yeah, uh, love it. Cars. Um, pencil it in. Here it is, round three. It'll be boo, boo. Let's get down to business. Wow. Before we fight. The Huns. To defeat the Huns. <laughs> you know what I meant. Hey, <laughs> I do, I do. Great, great movie. Probably the most watched Disney movie in my house growing up. More than Lion King, more than Finding Nemo. 
Mulan was the favorite. Now, let me ask you this. I, I don't want to cut you off. Was your mom the Mulan fan? Was your mom the one putting the movie on? I don't think so. Really? I, think I was the Mulan fan. Nice. I think that was... Let's get down. That is. I, I just I ask that because I feel like a lot of... A lot of uh, moms. Yeah. They, they see it as a, a way to show you that women can do what men can do. And it's... Uh, Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's a it's an easy way to introduce that without shoving it down your kid's throat. Um, Absolutely. But it is a great movie. Uh, Mulan, one of the princesses. I mean, I, I love that you snuck that in there. You snuck a princess movie in here somehow. Um, it was on my was list. Was she a princess? I do believe so, um, technically. Uh, I think that's why her dad didn't serve, right? He was the king and old or something like that. Oh. I forget. I forget exactly what... Uh, what the the thing was, but I think Disney considers her one regardless. Um, right. But another one, great soundtrack, fire you up. I mean, they're shooting off fireworks, great end scene. Uh, and what's the, uh, is it Mushu? The little lizard? I don't remember these things as well as you do, Jim, at all. My God. All I remember is let's get down to business. Nah. And they're all eating the soup, and then they're planning the strategy in the tent. You know, exactly. Like it's a, uh, it is a fun one. And the best, best scene of that whole movie is when, uh, Mulan fi- finally figures out how to climb up the pole with the, uh, with the things wrapped around. You remember that where she wraps the things around the pole and climbs up. I mean that heartwarming heartwarming. Yeah. The woman could do what all the rest of the guys were doing. That's, that's the story. Um, be a is. dick. I don't know why I did. I don't even know why I said that. What? <laughs> Just shitting on Mulan for no reason. No. My pick. Um, Mulan, love it though. Um, all right, number three for me. Bada boo, boo, boom. Um, all right, for the third pick of the draft for myself. Um, wow, a lot of these have been taken. Do do do. I think I'm gonna go with a older movie. I think I'm gonna go with Peter Pan, number three. Oh. Um, and this one, I, I, this was m- one of the movies we watched all the time growing up too. It was like, uh, almost like background noise. I feel like to a point, but nothing better than, uh, you got the three, is it three brothers, two brothers and the sister, Wendy, I forget who gives a fuck, but they go to Neverland, Peter Pan, the OG, but again, Captain Hook, kind of, kind of the sickest. But sicker. For sure. Captain Hook was the best. It just has the most these too. That that Captain Hook coat, it's by far the one of the sickest Disney fits in any movie. Captain Hook? Captain Hook. Got a hook. He's got his his right hand man, Mr. Smee. It's just uh, a great a, a timeless classic. Um kind of racist though. That's that one thing about Disney movies is like <laughs> like watching them back like uh in peter pan they have a whole song like what makes the red man mad and they're just oh. talking about indians <laughs> or natives i mean what, whatever you call them these days um but yeah didn't didn't uh age as well as they'd uh hoped i'm sure but uh yeah. pretty pretty good peter pan lock it in um the peter pan 2 dude craziest thing ever they uh do you remember in World War II when, uh, fuck, what was it? I think Germany or the UK got bombed by Germany or something like that. It was, uh, I don't know, yeah. something like that. It was like, uh, I forget the name for it, but it was like when they had the air raid sirens and everything going. But fucking Peter Pan 2 opens up with that scene. Fucking scarred me. I mean, fucked me up. Fuck. Yeah, and there's like sh- bombings and shit going Saving on. Private Ryan shit. Literally. I like had a while it was it was bad, traumatizing. Um but yeah, Peter Pan put it in the Louvre, hang it up. Round 4, Jay Land. Here are the tones. It'll be boo boo. So far this draft has gone exactly how I wanted it to. I got my three favorites out the way. Now we're just here to play. Okay. Didn't- didn't rhyme on purpose. It just happened like that. All right, Nas. Um, and I'm not wearing a hat. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to go Stop. ahead with my fourth pick. I'm going to take the original Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Wow. 
Now, many people know the seven dwarves actually represent the symptoms of cocaine abuse or use. Do they? Yeah. Do we know what they are? Sleep, S- sleepy, sneezy, dopey, doc, dopey. Those all those all count, right? I mean, sleepy. You're counting sleepy with cocaine. After you, after the long night, you're fucking. Out. Oh my god! I mean, let's just shoehorn some more stuff in. I'll look up. Let's see. What What do you think? Can you give me one of the other seven dwarves' names? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can, I can. Um, you said dopey, and then there's something sniffly, sneezy, sneezy, and then um, antsy, <laughs> sneezy, <laughs> sleepy, dopey. Yeah. Doc, grumpy, happy, bashful. Grumpy, happy, bashful. Boom. Nailed it. I I can't believe that didn't make your number one. You know that movie better than anything. Um, hey, it's the first Disney movie that's all you need to know. It is. And it's about cocaine bear. Cocaine Bear, wow! What a what a what a crossover! Uh, no, and it has one of the most iconic songs, "Hi Ho, Hi Ho, Off to Work We Go." I mean, it's just, I mean, I, it a classic. Like you said, it's the first one. They've remastered it many times. Uh, I I personally don't like it, um, but here we are, here we are. Snow White. Um, I'm gonna hit the tones. Um, all right, so ooh, I don't know. I'm I'm stuck. I'm hanging up between two. Thank God we got two rounds left. I don't think you'll take either. Um, but I'm gonna go with the Incredibles round four. <sighs> yeah, there it is. The look of disappointment. You had Chad Mills helping you. Come on, son. Uh, I didn't realize they're Disney. I gotta pull up my list right now. <laughs> well, you probably so I went Disney Pixar. So I, I mean, is Pixar Disney? That's why I was confused. They're kind of the same. Right? Yeah, yeah, they are. It's Disney Pixar. They weren't okay. for a while, and then uh, there's a couple movies Pixar did without Disney, I believe, and then they rebought them back. So like Toy Story is also in this list. Um, you can take them last. That I, I don't give a shit. They, I, they don't make my. They don't make my cut. Um, is that your like forces in? Jesus Christ, are you eating those? Um, actually, actually, all of the ones that I put in after I took them out together, oh. <laughs> back in my mouth. Hey, what's up, bitches? I I'll used to for dusted any day. <laughs> Wow, that is a classic. Um, I used to flip my dips all the time. I can't give a shit. I, it's already been in my mouth. I don't. As long as it hasn't been I someone like, else's. I like my chips with the dip. <laughs> you, did you say you like your chips with the dip? I like my chips with the dip. I couldn't agree more, brother. Um, Incredibles. When I grow up my hair, some people say I look like Syndrome, the bad guy. Um, <laughs> that's just, hey, it's, it is what it is. The craziest part about that movie is that guy becomes the bad guy because Mr. Incredible was an asshole to him one time. Didn't, not one time. <laughs> Growing up, he was just a dickhead to this kid, and this kid was like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to become your biggest villain. And he did. Legend. Um, Syndrome. The Incredibles. Love- what? You love the villains. I, I do. They're misunderstood, aren't they? Say it again. They're misunderstood. Uh, always. Who is that? The Unabomber. He's misunderstood, oh, man. God. You is for Unabomber. Oh my God. <laughs> you just rock that. <laughs> <laughs> I do just rock that. Uh, this was a villain heavy episode. I had to wear it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Nah, that guy was a, a hot piece of shit. But you know what? He made some good points in that manifesto. Snuck in. Not all of them. Some of them. Um, but the Incredibles. Lock it in. Now we're into our fifth and final round. Um, you Have you gotten all the movies you wanted so far? You're saying this is cooked out? I, yeah? I have. All right. Here I it mean, is. No, I mean, the Incredibles would have been really nice to have. And then you did another modern one. Cars. It was. Cars. That yeah. was, those were both great picks. Those are going to get the, get my Gen Z fans, you know, <laughs> going. The, the Joshy stands, the Josh <laughs> army is going to get them going. The Josh get army. <laughs> wow. Yeah. We, we gotta, I gotta find uh, gotta a name, name for that. <laughs> yeah, gotta, That's horrible. Yeah, we got beautiful babies listening. We got to give them the name. But, beautiful babies. Um, um, wait, hold on. <laughs> let me hit the tones. Do 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 do. Okay. Now hit us. 
fifth and final pick, I'm going Toy Story. It's a classic. Hated to see the toys get sold away in episode three or in the trifecta or the trilogy. Whichever. Episode, um, the, third, the third. Right. Toy Story. Now, did you ever think that your toys came to life? Were you young enough to where you thought that that maybe was a thing? No. Damn. I mean, I wasn't either, but. You got to, yeah, I don't know. Like, Santa wasn't a thing. A lot of that fantasy shit wasn't really a thing. That's a horrible childhood, man. What? What? Not that I didn't have an imagination, but it's kind of what I knew that seeming like. I knew that I knew that toys were toys, and the tooth fairy was shit. I knew that. <laughs> you didn't, dude. Did you get paid for the tooth fairy? Maybe, but I'm pretty sure it was like you lost the tooth. Here's the money. Damn. <laughs> I did not get paid for the tooth fairy. Maybe like when I was really young, like one year, and then from there, it was like, your parents were like, "Yeah, no." Um, damn. I liked it though. Toy Story. Um. Now that's another one that's got like three or four decent movies attached to it. Um, the third was great. I cried. Really? Which which one's the third? Is that the one with like the the bear in it and stuff like that, or is it? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I so, sorry to rack your your brain for these things. I know two's Big Al's Toy Barn. I mean, look at me go. Um, <laughs> But the, the number one is just a classic, and you got uh, who is uh, who's Buzz Lightyear, Tim Allen, and Tom Hanks. Now, it, now is the you got a friend in me? Yeah, yeah, big time. That's the Toy Story song. Yes, sir. God, they're good. They are. I bet you the people doing the BK fucking jingle. <laughs> whopper, and, whopper, whopper, hey, whopper. Tune in next week to see our jingle draft. Wow, the jingle draft. That rolls off the tongue perfectly. Commercial jingles next next week. Um, but yeah, no, they uh they knocked it out of the park. I mean, Toy Story is fucking great. They had the little green fucking aliens at the the pizza place and just uh, all in all, Sid. I mean, one of the greatest villains ever. He looks like uh me, I guess, when I shave my head. Uh, <laughs> you look like all the villains. I know. Uh, but crazy thing that Toy Story did, that Sid guy, the bad guy from the first one, the kid, they made him a garbage man. So in Toy Story 3, when everything's aged a few years, like in the background, you see him. He's got the same shirt on, but he's like a garbage man now, just like kind of living a trash life. It's pretty cool that they fucking snuck it's it dope. in there. You would have never noticed it. Um, but sick. Toy Story, love it. Um, all right, I guess this is the the final pick of the draft. Let me hit it. Better be boo boo. Now, Let it go. what? Let it go. <laughs> I froze and wow. <laughs> Shout out, uh, Carly Waters dressing as Elsa at birthday parties uh, as a job. What a what a life. Um, she did that for a while. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> um. <laughs> But no, fifth round of the draft, I couldn't decide whether to go way old or uh, another current one. Um, let's, hear, let's hear your thought process here. Walk us through the two. I mean, it's the last pick of the draft. Last pick of the draft. You're right. I'm not giving anything what? away. So I was walking through between Robin Hood. Um, I wanted that one as well. Which I is I, I, just a classic. The story of Robin Hood's classic. Stealing from the rich, giving to the poor. Um, Real Bernie Sanders. Exactly. Um, they snubbed the guy. I mean, I I would have voted for him if they would have put him at as the presidential they, candidate. That's the they should have put Robin Hood on the ticket. <laughs> hey, he's got my vote, Robbie Robbie Hood. Um, no, and then the the other one is Bugs Life. Bugs mm-hmm. Life is I was another one that's just kind of niche for our family. We watched a lot. Hopper's another great villain. Um, Flick's just a dipshit who always is fucking things up. Um, but I think Robin Hood's the one I'm going to go with here. Um, it's, like I said, a classic. It's a classic UK, a UK tale. Um, stealing from the rich, give them to the poor. Lock it in. There you go. Yeah. Um, and it's just, uh, I mean, the the songs in Robin Hood, uh, Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest, do 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 classic. Um, but yeah, Robin Hood. There are my five. We each took an older one. You took Snow White. I took Robin Hood. Um, 
But yeah, there it is, the draft. Let me read them back. Um, so for you, Jayland, you took Lion King 1, Finding Nemo 2, Mulan 3, Snow White 4, and Toy Story 5. And then I went Tarzan 1, Cars 2, Peter Pan 3, Incredibles 4, and then Robin Hood 5. Oh, the Cars and the, what's it called, are uh, very strong. Incredibles. It's gonna gonna appeal to the uh, the social media crowd. That's that's for damn sure. Um, but yeah, there it is. Um, I think that's it. We, there's another podcast on the table. Um, there's gonna be a couple edits here and there, <laughs> but all in all, <laughs> fucking <laughs> the the great episode. Um, thank you again for for coming along with me, and my brother. Um, and until next time, peace. Peace.